if you want a beautiful garden but don't want to spend a lot of money, we have a solution you'll like. We're showing you how to divide to multiply. It's a gardening trick that can fill your yard with prettier, healthier plants. Jerry Goodspeed with Utah State Botanical Center joins me today. What does it mean to divide to multiply? Well, usually uh, we're talking about perennials. And what will happen with perennials is as they grow, um, they actually start to create more and more of a, uh, more plants. And so what we'll do is we'll go in there and we'll just start to divide those up and plant them out. And then we, instead of one, now we've got five, six, seven, 20. So you're taking the one little plant that I buy in a little plastic container, pulling it apart. You're going to show us how to do this. Yeah, but not right, not right when you buy it. Normally what happens is you'll plant it out and after two or three years you'll notice that it starts to increase, multiply basically. And so then you'll go out to your garden and pretty soon you'll, where you had that one little plant, you'll have a big plant and you'll say, well, that's getting too big, and so now we'll start to go in and divide it up. So it's after it's already grown, and then you're yeah, going couple, in and digging it out. Yep. So what's the benefit of doing that? Well, there's a couple of things that, that benefit. One is you get more plants out of it. But the other thing is a lot of times those plants will get really crowded. And so if they get too crowded, then what happens is they start to die back, especially in the middle of the plant. And uh, they're not as healthy. and and. Um, we just find that it helps the plant get some good air circulation around them and uh, gives them more room to grow. Okay, so that's so interesting. It actually does benefit the plant yeah, when it you does. go in Quite you dig it out. So I want you to show me how to do this because I'm trying to capture the vision <laughs> here, Jerry, but you're going to show me. You're going to make this happen for me. Okay. Well, well I was going to show you something here real quick. So this is like an iris that we talk about and you can see that it's, it was just too crowded and um, wasn't growing so very well. A, this started maybe with one of these shoots. Yeah, and somebody then planted of... this right here. Okay. And then over time, uh, you're getting more and more of them growing out from just that one, and yet this is all you need. And so what we've done is we just go in, and we lit, and, and this is something you need to know is that some people are just, most people are too kind to their plants. So when you're out there dividing them <laughs> and rougher. ripping apart, yeah, don't worry about it. They, they want to live as much as you want them to live. Sometimes I think that people are looking at it thinking, uh, well, if I look at that plant wrong, it'll die. <laughs> and, and so, Isn't so, that a thing? Are we supposed to talk to our plants, let them know well, you we're can, You can talk to them, and then sometimes talk yell them. at them. And, talk to them, yeah, yeah, then you take care of business. Yeah. There Jerry you go, you yeah. Get down in there. So do you have to dig out? Dig, so, how deep so what are I you did digging? How are was, you doing this? We went and we dug this one out, and we'll just dig around it. And again, we're not is too careful. Is this just the section that you're intending to take out and replant somewhere else? Or is this the entire no, thing? No, this is the entire thing. Okay. And then literally what I'll do is I will just take, let's let's put it over here so we can see plant, this a little I'm better. I'm, I'm prepping you, plant. <laughs> I'm prepping you. He's going to hurt you now. All right. Oh, and then literally I'll just go in and oh, just start pushing it apart What like is that. this tool? Oh, uh, this is actually just a, um, a what they call a dandelion digger, I think. Okay. <laughs> but I'll use so a anything, trowel, okay. a shovel. I have my anything kind of pruners dark here that okay, I'll, I'm I'll take this care of. So watch this but look here. Person. So we'll just rip that literally out, and there's one that fell off. You could plant okay. that. It so would be ready to go. It would grow. And it doesn't look like you're being, I mean, when I see you kind of stab into it like that, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like we're so worried about like, oh, shoot, I just no. ripped apart some No, I will literally rip just rip them apart. apart. You got to get down and dirty with them. And look at that, new so, plant. So this is, okay, so each one yeah. of these, you're kind of saying, I'm going to put this back here because I, this is why I bought this plant in the first yeah. place. I'm going to put this in the section. And then I'll, maybe I'll move this to some other place in the yard. So mm -hmm. is this pre or pre? post bloom does it matter okay, that it really does normally what we do is we'll do this after they bloom okay. now sometimes we'll do it in the early spring uh, here's a grass for example yeah this and, grass is pretty and the grass what we'll do is the exact same thing but we'll be doing it depending upon the grass sometimes in the early spring before they even leaf out you well, look at that. Down and dirty. Get in there. Yep. Because you do hear that a lot about grass, that grasses tend to grow and yeah, grow, those, grow those and grow and grow. So but you got to be, so just, again. Just, sorry. Look at that. No. There you go. You're getting dirty on Studio 5 here. Now you've got some new plant. Look at that. Okay, so Isn't that cool? Does the root system matter? I mean, I, we said you can, you're can. you okay to tear it apart, but so if I drop this in over in this other corner bed, it's going to take. Yeah, it is. And you notice that I kept a lot of, as much of the root as I can on it. But yeah, I'll plant that down. I'll, I'll dig a hole somewhere. I'll put that in the ground, water it in really good. Uh, you may, what some people will do is they'll come in because you did disturb some roots. 
and cut it back a little bit. Just and so trim it down. Get your little handy trimmer out. And Again, don't worry about hurting the plant. Why, would, why is that helpful? It doesn't have as much to support her. Yeah, this that's exactly right. It doesn't, guess. No, that's good. That's perfect because now it doesn't have, it's, it's a smaller plant. It uh, doesn't have near as much uh, need for water because there's not the full leaves. I'm trying to. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what I'll do to it. And Will I'll plant it, like, that back how, in. Once I'm doing that, if I took that and did it, how quickly is it kind of growing back, re reaching its full potential? Is it that year, is it next season? When well, it? you hope it starts growing right then. And a lot of times it depends on the plant itself. For instance, these irises. Yeah, let's take a look. Um, that uh, normally we'll wait until July after they bloom and we'll do this. But if I did it now and I planned that, that won't bloom this year. Obviously, okay. but it will next year and it should start to create some nice foliage. So you're just waiting here. Any plants that you say, if you have these in your yard, please do this for them, it's good for them. Oh, well, Common the one, plants the people have. Irises is, the, is, the, is one okay. of them because they, they'll just keep multiplying and then you get that die back in the middle. Day lilies, anything that looks kind of like a grass that clumps, that the clump keeps getting bigger, um, th that's what you need to do with it. And, and uh, that's actually kind of, doesn't it kind of look like what you bought in the store? Yeah, I think Or it in does. the nursery. And uh, a lot of times that's what they have done is that they have divided uh, and, and then started to grow those up, move them into a bigger pot, and then they just get bigger and bigger. Do they need yeah. any special care? That's kind of my lingering question here. Yeah, in the fact that you, you, you need to watch them water. Uh, you need to watch the watering on them because if they dry out, obviously they don't have a, a big enough root system or a large root system yet. And so they may take a little more watering than they normally than normally buying a plant from a nursery and putting it in the ground. Okay. Um, but once it's established and once you start to see some growth on it, that tells you, yeah, it, it's it's taken. And there's a chance, you know, if if you've damaged the roots too much, or you know, if, if you if you do this and rip oh, the roots out like that. Sorry, plant. <laughs> We're That's probably not going to grow. <laughs> this is dead. We've officially you know? killed the plant, people. And, and having said so that. don't do that. Don't like make it clean and yeah, pretty. We try, need a little bit of dirt at the bottom. Try to keep as much of the roots as you can. Uh, and, and believe it or not, see there's still roots on there. That would yeah. probably grow. Would it really? Yeah, oh, oddly enough. These are enough, so. little plants. Yeah. Anything left in your bin that you want to tell me about? Because these are pretty plants too. What are these? So, well, this is the grass, and okay. this is a grass? this what is, is this? a ground cover, and ground covers are okay. perfect for doing oh, this because know. they'll just spread out like the ivies and the. This is called lady's mantle, and you see how I just ripped it with my hand. Look at that. And yeah. I can just take that, plant it out, rip it up some more. And just um, throw it all over your yard. There you go. All right. Yep. That looks great. So, Jerry, thank you so much. This has been very educational for all of us. I, sure. I love getting dirty, so this is, <laughs> yes, this is good. Do. This and is good. And you do it so well. Good, thank good you. job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Jerry. Emily.